everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Carrie if you're new here and today's video is going to be the master bathroom redo on a $20 budget so I got really creative whenever I was completing this bathroom because I did not want to spend a whole lot the whole purpose of my channel and living in a mobile home is to do things on a budget and show that you can live on a budget and do things without spending a fortune. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I think the bathroom turned out so cute. I am literally shocked at how good it turned out because honestly, about halfway through, I was thinking there's no way I'm going to be able to pull this off, <laughs> but I did and I really love it. So I hope you guys do too. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see all of you at the very end of the video. Okay, so I wanted to start off today's video with an overview of how the bathroom looks before. That way you can get an idea of what I was working with. So after a good five minutes of trying to take the medicine cabinet down, I finally got it. And then I'm just going to clear off the um, vanity and then start caulking all the holes in the seams. I've been high, I've been low, I've been chasing all the things I never had before. All the way down by the river I found a place where I can drown the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get A sparkle in a diamond And the southern sunset Alright, so right here I'm actually painting the bathroom white and then last minute I decided to change my mind and paint the entire bathroom um, the same color as the kids bedroom. It's called Sutton Place Gray. I got it in the Color Place paint at Walmart. Um, I actually really love this paint in the satin finish. The glossy finish for some reason doesn't roll on very good, so I suggest getting the satin finish if you do go with the Color Place paint. But I love this paint, it's cheap, it works good, and it gets the job done. And this is the color, right now on camera, to me it kind of has like a pink tone when you first put it on, but it does um, dry to like a grayish tan, so like a grayish color. Um, I really love the way that the bathroom looked once the entire bathroom was painted this color. bathroom has one full coat on it. I decided to leave the trim piece up at the top white um, just because I feel like it looks bigger when it's white. But anyway, so this is how it looks so far. I'm going to start cleaning up my mess a little bit because once this paint dries, I should just have to do one more coat and then I should be good. 
Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw in where I'm gonna hang up the mirror. And the mirror I got was from a thrift store for eight bucks. And the back of it doesn't have a spot to actually hook onto a nail. It had like this handle at the top, so that's what I actually hung it on. I don't know if that's what it's for, but that's what I used it for, so, you know, it works. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move on to um, start hanging up the brackets for the shelves. And the brackets are actually plant hangers from Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece. So it was super budget friendly and they worked great. It's a hard thing to know That your soul will stay hollow All right, so right here I'm just using my tape measure to make sure that the brackets on each side will be even and what I do is I just poke like a little hole that way I know where I want to screw it in and then I just kind of eyeball how spaced out I want them to be. Okay, so this would have been much easier if I would have had a screw gun, but my husband has the work truck and all the tools are on it, so I had to use a screwdriver and just go old school, um, but hopefully I will get a screw gun for myself pretty soon. And right now I'm just going to go ahead and start hanging up all the decorations and finish decorating the bathroom. I've been chasing all the things I never had before All the way down by the river I found a place where I can drown the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get A sparkle in a dark if you're curious where I got all the decorations for this bathroom, um, just stay tuned to the very end because I will have a finished tour um, and I'll explain where I got everything. I've been up, I've been down, I've been taking chances that I never took before, all the way up on the highest mountain, I found a place where I Drop the old you And when you look on the horizon What you see is what you get A sparkle and a diamond And the sudden sunset Oh, oh I didn't know what I was doing wrong All the things I go I didn't know what I was doing wrong 
All the things that going on. So this is the finished bathroom. I hope you all enjoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and show you where I got everything for anyone who is wondering. But if you don't want to listen to me um, ramble about these items, then you can just go ahead and exit off the video. And I really appreciate you watching. But I'm going to get started right into it and start off by telling you I got this little jar or like bottle from Dollar Tree and these flowers from Dollar Tree as well. The mirror I purchased from um, a thrift store for $8. I also got these little brackets from Dollar Tree. These are actually plant holders and I just turned them upside down and use them as shelf brackets because these brackets are like $4 a piece and there's no way I was going to spend that. So I just used the, um, the little plant holders from Dollar Tree and they're actually really good quality um, for being only a dollar. Um, these little wooden shelves, my these are actually just big pieces of wood that my husband got from a job site, and we just cut them and I stained them. And then this little jar I picked up from Goodwill. I'm gonna put our Q-tips in there. This is actually a um, pickle jar, so instead of throwing it away, I decided to use it and just spray paint the top um, brown, and then pour the Epsom salts that we have in there. Um, this is a little um, box that my mother-in-law gave to my daughter, so I just stuck that in here. I'm going to probably just put some little extra soaps in there. Um, this little, I don't know what this is, this is like a little pail, came from a yard sale that my mom got, and I just put some little clippings from a tree that were that was outside in there because I didn't have any fake flowers, so I just decided to go outside and find a cute tree and just cut a couple clippings off of it for the bathroom, and I think it turned out really cute, and I did the same thing up here just to give it some, you know, color, and then this little jar came from Dollar Tree, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but see that little arrow? I actually spray painted that on there for my yard sale, so, but you know, you can't see it from down here, <laughs> and then this came from... Dollar Tree. This little lantern came from my mom. I made this little get naked sign yesterday. I just painted it white and then um, used black nail polish to write get naked. Um, my mom actually made this for me as well. Um, this little basket came from my sister-in-law and I just rolled up some towels in there. And then I got these rugs from my mom as well. This shower curtain is from Goodwill for only a dollar. And then this shower, this white shower curtain I got from Dollar Tree for obviously a dollar. So you cannot beat that. The only thing I have left in here to do is change out the plugins, but my husband was tired yesterday and he didn't want to do it. So he's going to do it today when he gets off work. But I could not wait to show you guys, but these will be white soon. And then I did paint the bathroom. I painted it um, the color Sutton Place Gray. So I love this color. It's the same color I used in my kids' bedroom makeover. I'll have that um, video linked down below if you haven't seen that one yet. And then I just kept the trim white. So that's how the bathroom looks. I absolutely love the way it turned out. Um, and then I went around the whole bathroom and like caulked all the seams that were showing just to make it look more seamless. And it makes like a huge difference. So Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, y'all.